In front of us is a static image with an almost crude corporate tone to it. But as we enter this artwork, we unearth a plethora of meanings. Let's get in. I'll explain. Hi, this is Vaibhav Raj Shah from Art History Plus, and in this video, let's dive deep into this mesmerizing artwork by Arun K S. Arun told me that he creates his biblical world of questions through thorough meticulousness. He takes raw canvas as his starting point. Upon stretching it, he adds two layers of rice paper. After which comes the layer of casein and gum arabic. Khadi, a pigment used in the miniature style of painting in India, is added to that. These are complex elements with different compositional constructs. You won't expect it, but dalia. or oats is layered onto the base to get a texture to this you add sodium dioxide you know to avoid fungus no we're not done there's more the whole surface is made smooth using sandpaper arun uses bible dust something he makes himself it's idiosyncratic to his style of work and that is smeared this creates the ash colored effect what we previously referred to as the crude corporate tone <laughs> this is the powder of his previous work and that has a psychological connotation to it a continuation and on this all of this arun finally starts painting yeah he starts now the shaman like treatment to his work is reflective of his contextual inquiries it's quite obvious he has been intrigued by religion He looks at the holy communion crowd with wonder. It is almost like a herd of followers following a pack of followers believing in the pull of god. The surface of the painting is covered with an overall sense of softness. Arun uses resilient repetition to create this effect. He works on all four parts of the painting simultaneously, working on the elements that are concurrent in all of them. These images are abstractions and yet are symbolic of children wearing ritualistic headgear. The mass is painted in a mass way, <laughs> addressing it in its entirety all at once. He has a meditative sincerity in his approach of creation. On top of the faces is a dotted pattern. Do you see it forming a visual illusion, multiple halos? This he paints with a golden pen. He uses all kinds of materials to do this painting. from pigment powder to jaipur pigments his final layer is that of paraffin and acetone this painting might remind you of a very old wall or structure something that has gone through time maybe a relic a story or even maybe a fossil it ages with time almost like a human breathing and surviving the test of time Arun steers away from heavy contextual jargon and makes the painting for the sake of painting. He shuns pretentiousness and facades to dwell deep into the medium of painting wholeheartedly. The painting leads him and reveals imagery as he moves ahead. Arun told me that everybody has intellectual clarity on simplification, but nobody is actually practicing it. This painting is accompanied by a sculpture a found object it isn't related to the painting directly but offers a sense of presence energy and monumentality it activates the painting arun is constantly transporting himself in and out of the system becoming one with the work of art his thoughts are channelized into visuals that are born out of this relationship and here we quote a painting is a painting is a painting Please subscribe to Art History Plus and please share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.